To make a tune shader, first start off with the mesh you want to add the tune shader to. Remember that you're going to have to do this to every object in your scene, with, well, every material in your scene that is, that you want a tune shader on. So create a new material inside of it. Now, drag this principal BSDF over here and add in a, with shift A, a shader to RGB node. Then, in between those, you want to add a color ramp node. What this is doing is converting this to a format that the color ramp can read. And what's interesting about this is you can adjust this and sort of adjust the fall off of the shadows. But if we want this to look like a cartoon, we want it to change it from linear to constant. Now, this will allow us to get this really interesting blocky look. It's going to look really choppy and blocky in here, um, which is a bit weird, but you can fix this by going shade smooth and there you go beautiful but we want to add some color to this and maybe a little bit more different variation in shades i don't recommend going all the way down to black so just make it a little bit gray and don't make it white make it a little darker than that because yeah you trust me <laughs> you want to add a mix rgb node to add color to it set the blend mode to overlay. Now, when you do this, you will be able to change the little color down here. <laughs> sorry, my computer's just lagging. Yeah, sorry, okay, my computer lagged there a little bit, but it's back now. Now you should be able to add some color by changing this little color thing here, just like so. If you're unhappy with the shading on it, you might want to change the color amp again until it suits the look you're trying to go for. You also might want to try out adding some more of these little color ramp things. So I might want it to be a little bit more in between. Now my monkey has a few more shades and it still is shaded smooth in that way. Notice how when I turn it, the lighting changes. It's pretty cool. So what if you want an outline on this monkey? Well, that's pretty simple to do. You just have to go to the Render Properties tab. I think that's what it's called. Go down to Freestyle. It shouldn't matter if you're in Eevee or Cycles, I believe. But go down to Freestyle and change the line thickness. Adjusting this value will give you a different result in the render. Please note that you will not be able to see this effect in the viewport. You have to render the image first. And when I render it, I like to have it at quite a low sample rate because it's just a cartoon shader. So I'm going to set the render sample rate to about 5 on Eevee. And let's render. Obviously you need a camera first. So now when we render this out, we should see a line appear on it. It'll take a, just a little bit to process, but look at that. We've got a nice sort of shaded look on our monkey. But what if we want to take this further still? We might notice that when you have a colored light in the scene, Say if I made this bright red, it's not really going to show up red here, it just sort of darkens it. That's a problem, especially if you want to have some really nice lighting in it. You can, pro you can really fix this by adding, going to the shader of the monkey and add a, another mix RGB, like so. Again, setting the mode to overlay. Now you're going to go to your other shader to RGB over here and you're going to drag this color output into the second color output of the overlay node. And look at this, you have a reddish tint here. That is pretty nice. So now when we render this out, we can see our final result is a cartoon monkey that is outlined with lighting. That's pretty much how you do it. I hope this helped and thank you for watching.